Welcome back to London Beautiful Live and today we're at the Day of the Jackal premiere at the Queen Elizabeth Hall. Are you excited to be at the London premiere of the Day of the Jackal? Yes, yes, yes. This, are you? I mean, I hope everyone is. This is a special time. We um, have worked really hard to have a moment like this. And premieres are important because a lot of hard work goes into it, but a lot of celebration is needed. What did you like about playing this character, Lashana? Yeah. I liked everything. I loved mainly the complexities that, that Bianca has and um, how much we get to dive into the psychology behind women in espionage, which is just, especially black women in espionage which is just not a conversation and now we have a conversation to kind of springboard off of it's pretty exciting so this series is about an elusive assassin mm -hmm. he's a rival he's the master of deception and you can't beat him so in the spirit of this series i want to know whether or not you can beat me in a thumb war are you up for it oh my gosh i just got a flashback from school <laughs> are you up for it? I just got, are you going to sing the song? I'm going to sing it and we're going to learn it in a different language as well, you game. Okay, what language? Punjabi. Okay, you sing and I'll, I'll hum. Are you going to like, you're going to hum? Yes, I don't know Punjabi but I'll learn I'm on the spot. Teach you. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, it's school, school, okay, this is where I'm going back to, it's like, many years. It goes like that, right? So yeah. the song is, Ek, Do, Ten, Jar, I declare a thumb ward. You got it? Ek, Do, Ten, Jar, I declare a thumb ward. You have to pin me for three seconds, right? <laughs> yes, I'm waiting for you. Oh, I thought you were going to go. <laughs> You've got a really strong thumb. I do. <laughs> One, two, three. Is it on camera? Fantastic. And when it came to obviously filming, you filmed in very different locations. What was your most memorable moments from filming? I think probably the most memorable was when we got given a script where we. Um, oh, this is probably a spoiler. We can go. <laughs> You've got the scoop so far. We do. We do go to a war zone at one point, and um, we were challenged to think how we would pull that off. And we actually did. So I, I've skirt around quite well. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That actually was quite. That's quite a challenge. And uh, but we can't say much more because. Uh, but the uh, the locations are incredibly varied all the way through. It goes all over the place. And uh, there are lots of these just twists and turns in the, the whole thing. Every single episode. So it's pretty, pretty gripping. And then lastly, what would you both like audience to take away from this? From this version of the, the Jackal story. Uh, I'd, I'd like an audience to just uh, be totally drawn in by these episodes, binge the whole thing, uh, or you know, enjoy it over a more leisurely period of time. But really, to I mean, so far the feedback's been a few people who've seen it has been incredibly positive. People thrilled with these episodes. So let's just hope that that's replicated across a wider audience now. So tell me more like about your character and what drew you to this particular script. Well. Um, I think it was it was just about what a good guy he was. Um, complete antithesis to my real character, obviously. But like, um, he was just such a good sort of a moral sort of compass in the whole story. Because in the whole world of like spies running around chasing each other, gunfights, car chases, all of that. Um, like my character's role is very sort of it's very domesticated. It's very it's very calm. It's very normal. It represents like like the everyday person, probably the people that all these spies are fighting to protect. And um, and it's just good to see that part of, uh, you know, the, um, the hero's life uh, and compare it to the life that they have outside the home, basically. The production on this seems amazing and in loads of different places as well throughout Europe. But what would you say is your most memorable and funniest moment on set? Oh, my most memorable and funniest moment, probably... Probably getting a piggyback from one of my kids in the show. <laughs> like taking domestic family photos and stuff. Yeah, I, I kind of pulled a, I kind of pulled a fast one on him. It was like, yeah, piggyback. He was like, yeah, okay, cool. And I spun him around, jumped on his back. He wasn't expecting that. Uh, but other than that, like, you know, I think the whole time generally was just, we were having, we were fooling around so much, like behind the scenes, um, which is important on, a, on such a serious show with like, 
all the like you know you know all the moods that everyone like, you know, like depict, depicted in the script and the scenes I think it was really important for us to sort of just like not forget to sort of tap out of that a little bit um, and just like not get too deep into like the world that the characters that the characters are embedded in so tell me what like drew you to this script what attracted you to wanting to be a part of this um, it's a brilliant script and I really wanted to work with uh, Eddie I think I've always admired him uh, as an actor um, so yeah it was just it's great to work with good people can you tell me more about your character uh, I play um, the guy who uh, makes the best rifles in the world and uh, the jackal comes to me to make the perfect uh, rifle for a special job and uh, yeah that's that's where I come into play so what was filming like was it really fun have you got any memorable moments you can t share with us it was it was very warm uh, yeah because we, we uh, shot it in Hungary and um, yeah so a lot of my stuff most of my stuff's with Eddie it's like a kind of a like a two-hander almost and a very intense kind of relationship like a bond develops uh, don't want to give too much away though yeah so this is obviously a very iconic story what would you say is different to this version compared to the other Jackal films I think it's just modernized I mean it's it sticks to the original I think very well but it just gives it much more dimension and a lot more depth what um, what do you reckon we can expect from this version of Jack of the Jackal story compared to the other one well they didn't even have mobile phones so, so evading uh, uh, you know MI6 and going through airports was slightly different in 1973 than now so I think the Jackal has had to up his game do you have any memory because you get to film like throughout Europe do you have any memorable moments from filming I remember it being 40 degrees in Budapest in a studio and desperately trying not to sweat uh, uh, that's uh, I'm also hanging out with friends but yeah I was in the studio quite a lot uh, over there so uh, I had some great great scenes with uh, lots of the members of the cast I really enjoyed with this did you get to learn anything so obviously it's about assassins I'm su and obviously with police stuff as well do you learn anything that you didn't know in the to start off with um, how to spy how to spy did you get to meet anyone from at real life spy we, we, we had uh, we had advisors working for, uh, within uh, from various uh, areas within the security kind of services and that was really interesting really interesting a asking um, advice for them and having them have a look at a scene and, and give you tips but of course a lot of it is done by Ronan the writer you know but it's up for us just to you know yeah to get on there and do it so how was the casting process for you how did you get involved in this project well um, as part of the um, of the story happened in, in Cadiz in Spain um, uh, I play Ursula's uh, Ursula's character's brother they were looking for actors in Spain and I, I did uh, just one self-tape like in April and lots of months went by and my agent keeps saying like they haven't like said no in, and I got a call in June I was doing theater in Argentina and they said like you're in I didn't know Ursula was playing my sisters because we we're friends from before the show like really close friends and then I got to know she was playing my sister so it was super fun so what do you reckon audience are going to take away from this version of, of the Jackal story well I think that it's um it has all the the spirit of the original film I think that the people that really love the 70s film are gonna find lots of Easter eggs and lots of little homages to to the film but it's a reinvented version to to fit in in the era that we're living now and I think it's at the end of the day it's a thriller about an assassin and a police chasing him we've seen that so many times but I think that the, it's a really raw thriller and the characters all of them have a pretty dark side and I think there's some twists some some decisions taken by all the characters that the audience are gone are not used for the, the protagonist or the antagonist to make so I think everyone that that makes all the characters really human and imperfect and I think it's really really appealing